how are you guys holding up? Because you are artists, but at the same time, you're writers and producers. So some of the work that you do is remote in general. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, I, I've I've been saying to Russ and to all my friends, like I feel a little bit, I feel a little bit guilty because uh, my life has been like directly my day to day has not been hugely affected. Um, still not even as much as Emma's or a lot of my friends who have normal jobs. Um, cause I'm working from home and I have a home studio. So I've kind of taken on a little bit more production work, um, and yeah. had some time to finish up like, you know, like little, little things for loot, little things for side projects for writing for other artists, productions for, um, other artists like we've been doing. Um, and I love, like, I'm such a homebody, like I love working at home. Um, but at the same time, I think like sometimes I, like it makes me not forget, but just like a little bit, a little bit less like on top of and just aware of like what really is going on outside of that. Um, and I'm, I'm really more worried about um, kind of like my, my family and my lo- and loved ones and like the rest of the world. Uh, but like personally, I haven't been hugely affected. Just, I know that really there's a much more bigger scale of it than like, than what's going on at, at my house same kind of home because we're all just kind of staying at home right now. So our homes is like the reality of, of you know, to, to all of us right now. Like we kind of, I think it's, it's a way, like, unless you're looking at the news every day, it kind of, it kind of like isolates you from that, you know? So it's been a weird thing, you know, exact, sometimes like. I was going to say that I have the exact opposite of Jackson because, well, Jackson, yeah, he has a home studio, but he also, you know, no, normally his house is the house that I go to when we're working because he's the producer and he's also a writer. And so when we collaborate, we're usually working out of his garage, which he turned into a studio. Um, it's always been like that. Like even when we were in college working together, I would always come to his, uh, his dorm. I sent him a video yesterday of one of the first songs we ever did together. I randomly found this video of him putting together a production for it. And it was so funny because it's like this really old Mac screen or whatever I don't even remember when that happened but um it's that was senior year sort of college the opposite. For sure. I don't mean dude I think that was junior year maybe junior year for you because you were in the fort maybe anyway yeah. did you two meet what? at SUNY Purchase yeah so we met at SUNY Purchase um and I had never really worked with somebody before like I had never seriously collaborated with anybody like from start to finish on a piece until we started working together um yeah it was it was really intense when we first started but um going back to the like corona thing quickly just it's sort of the opposite situation for me because my little sister was uh traveling internationally before it happened and like my whole family is in new york right now and everyone's like super quarantined there and i'm the only one who's not on the east coast so it's super odd for me you're definitely thinking of you and your family and hope everything gets back to normal to say the least but you know thinking about this ap <laughs> and all that i'm super intrigued by you guys because sometimes you're the featured artist sometimes you have the celebrity featured artist sometimes you're just in the background it's a really multifaceted group ensemble team whatever you want to call it that you guys have but what was the first cut that you guys got where you said this is something here. This is not just a co-write. Honestly, um, I think, I think our first, the first song we co-wrote together, um, even though, and I know it sounds crazy, even though, because um, it was not looking back at it, uh, it was not nearly a strong enough song (laughs) to like really leverage us into any position or, but, or, or, or kind of be cut by another artist or do anything, but it was, such a, a step up from everything that each of us individually were creating. Um, mm-hmm. It was so obviously like when the two of us were in a room, the product that came out was so much better than either of us could have imagined. And <laughs> we, li- yeah. we listen to it now and it's like, Oh my God, I can't believe this is the first song we made together. It's like hard to listen. Oh my to. God. I found but that video time, the other day too. <laughs> yeah. But at the time we sat in the same room and we had never met besides you know, saying like one or two sentences to each other. And it was like fireworks. It was like immediately Emma sang something my face lit up. I had a, I had a beat for it. It came together and it was for a homework assignment in class. Um, and then Emma, yeah. maybe you should touch on, maybe you could touch on either the one and the same or the no promises thing. Cause that's like in the, in the same, like in a different way, kind of the same effect. 
I was actually going to say the first time that I realized that like you and I could do something together vocally was, um, Oh, sure. What was the name of that song again? Tell your friends. Um, tell your friends. Yeah. Tell your friends. Yeah. Yeah. That yep. was the first time that we ever sing on something together up at that, like up until that point, it was either like me or Jackson singing a song and like, we both wrote it and that was cool. And like, we were focused on pitching things to people. But one day we were working on this song that was, I think it was going to be Jackson, you singing it, right? Yeah, yeah. It was like, you know, in the vein of like very dance hall stuff, like the Drake Rihanna thing that had just happened, like on the cusp yeah. of all of that. So I guess it was like 2015, 16 area. Yeah. And um, we had recently been published by UMPG and we were working out of their studios at that point. And Jackson, I have this melody idea that, like, he, for some reason, like, he just couldn't immediately hear it when I was singing it. And so I sang, like, a reference take of it for him to sing along to. Yeah. And, like, we were listening back to it together. And all of a sudden, it dawned on us that, like, we could actually sing a song together and it would sound really good. And up until that yeah. point, we had kind of played it off as a joke when people were like, you guys should really do a duet, blah, 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 whenever <laughs> yeah. we sang something. And we were like, ah, ha, 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 yeah. great, that's so funny. But then we listened to it yeah. and we were like, you know, maybe when it we played really back, should yeah. do that. <laughs> when it played anyway. back and it switched from my vocal to Emma's, we both looked at each other and we were like, oh, that is really cool. <laughs> and it was kind of by an accident because I just had Emma record the her melody and because I couldn't, I couldn't internalize it or remember it. So <laughs> it was Which an is sort of crazy. Cause like that thing was a very perfect mix of how you and I work together and separately. Yeah. Like our brains work yeah. very differently, but for some reason when we work together, it a makes us both work harder, which is really awesome. And B it brings both sides of what we do out really well without kind of overstepping which is one of the things that I really love about when we work together. You can hear the like craftsman, like the craftsmanship in what Jackson brings to the table. And you can hear the sort of like all over the place. This must have just like essentially like fallen out of your mouthness of what I do. I don't know what to call that. It's just a little bit more spontaneous sometimes, but you can hear those two not competing with each other, but sort of working together, which is really awesome to me. Well, this mm-hmm. next thing I want to ask you is definitely putting you on a pedestal and it's meant to be a compliment. And it starts off with the fact that you guys have collaborated with really the biggest names in pop right now. Whether or not you want to be modest, that's fine. But when I look at prior teams that were huge in pop, like, say, The Matrix or uh, Stock Eight. Ape- Aitken uh, Waterman, that's that's a tough name to say, but they wrote all the Rick Astley and British pop things of the yeah. mid-80s and late-80s. What both of those teams have in common is that they both were actually hoping to work with hard rock artists. And the Stock Aitken uh-huh. Waterman team did a thing with Judas Priest, and The Matrix actually did something with Korn. Do you guys ever see yourself trying to go in that rock direction with a random band? I mean, all day, every day, all the time, forever, personally. I don't know about Jackson, but... <laughs> yeah. Um, and notice, notice, I was like, I 100% know that Emma's going to answer this one first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, that, it's almost like a given. I, I grew up listening yeah. to, like, Kiss and, like, Led Zeppelin and The Who and, like, I don't know. I, I, my dad loves classic rock music, and I grew up on that mixed with, like, show tunes. So, like, metal, like, in terms of, like, the early days, like, Judas Priest type stuff, like, glam rock, all that is very much up my alley. Um, Down the line into, like, you know, pop punk and bands like Green Day and bands like Blink-182. Russ, are we allowed to talk about Sex with My Ex? Um, I think that's fine, because by the time this is out, (laughs) yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that's obvious. That's not a personal foray. That is a uh, title of <laughs> one of the that. songs off of our EP. <laughs> sure. Um, <laughs> Sex with my ex. A very autobiographical song. No, not at all. Um, but so we we're actually working. We have collaborated with Travis Barker on one of the songs on our EP, which is really cool. Um, it's sort of this crazy, weird, like 
child dream thing coming true. I don't know how to describe it still. It's very odd, but it's awesome, and I, like, can't believe that that's happening. It sounds weird when I say it. Um, Jackson, you want to elaborate? Yeah. Um, Well, yeah, Emma's, Emma's like, a huge, huge, huge rock fan, uh, just in all different umbrellas of the genre. And uh, Travis Barker, yeah, we kind of wrote this song that was kind of, like, almost an emo rap song, um, and brought a bunch of different artists into the picture and he was one that like loved it and wanted to, wanted to work on the song. So we were like, Oh my gosh, we have a song with Travis Barker. This is amazing. Also, Emma, I think you're forgetting that she also collaborated, uh, not like directly, directly, but, um, you know, a little bit of FaceTime with, it was oh, yeah. Josh Dunn, right? <laughs> yeah. I also, so my favorite band is on, uh, Pilots, and, um, I worked with another artist called wing Kip. We, we wrote, song that Josh Dunn ended up hearing who's the drummer for 21 Pilots and right. um, he did drums for that song at some point and like he just happened to be working with him and liked it heard it wanted to be a part of it which was crazy and that was like one of the weirdest days of my life just because I had to pretend to be normal while FaceTiming with Josh Dunn <laughs> and Jackson's like sitting on the other side of the room watching me freak out like everywhere except for my face like, it was, like, you know, like, how you can see, like, your face and a little bit of your neck when you're, like, on FaceTime with someone? Sure. I don't know, everywhere, like, mm. everywhere else besides that, my whole body was, like, shaking. <laughs> and I had to, like, pretend to be super normal. <laughs> I, pre- I was, like, crying afterwards. Wow. Yeah. Well, I didn't know what to do. But, yeah, yeah. It's so weird. So cool. So it yeah. could still happen, I think, more. But uh, with Emma, I think 100% I'll be there, uh, too, if, if there's something we both want to do. Um, I'm, I think for me, like I more take stuff like dated, like kind of, kind of day to day and session by session and collab by collab, I guess, like whatever is really ex- inspiring and exciting me, uh, then I'll want to do that kind type of music and work with those, those type of people. So, um, anything, yeah. anything could happen, I guess. So then <laughs> expect the unexpected with your group, the hits will hopefully keep coming and all that. So being mindful of your time here, I'll ask the closer and that's any last words for the kids. I think that's right. Um, the normally, um, I guess things like stay in school would make sense. However, given the current climate, mm-hmm. I don't think that that's really appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I, yeah. I think that if you really love doing, if you really love music, don't stop doing it and practice a lot. If you want to be a writer and an artist or either of them, start in your bedroom and just write terrible songs all the time until you don't hate them and then write even more songs all the time until you really don't hate them. Jackson, what do you have to say? That is a perfect Jackson and Emma take on the same basically piece of advice. And this is mine. And I say, uh, <laughs> for kids, if you find something you love, um, hold on to it dearly and don't give up on it and keep working at it and keep working at it and love love what you create even if it's crap love it because you have to love it to want to do more and eventually it might not be crap and uh and it'll only get better so just uh the the best gift in life is finding finding something you absolutely love because you'll never work a day in your life and that's how i felt at age 27 and i know that's how emma feels and how russ feels you know so uh we're we're very very lucky to do that anybody who finds that anybody who finds that is lucky sure yeah Really quick. Also, when you find the people that you love working with, don't stop working with them. True. Also true. Outro cast.